everyone knows their song, the words of Country Roads, and uh, take me home to the place that I belong. And uh, we want to make sure everyone feels that, that they can belong here and belong to a game. You know, we heard from so many different people that, that they're not sure if they can go to a sport event, you know what I mean, because of what are their races or, the, or their culture or their religion or, or anything. So we wanted a place where we can feel welcome to everybody. And uh, for that, you know, we wanted to make sure everyone felt like they belonged. So these videos of different people from different races, cultures, religions, uh, sexual orientation are coming in and, and explaining themselves of what, how they belong and what they are. With the, the, the media and the political landscape, you know, all these things that are shown on social media, you get all this information. Well, why not, you know, at, at a young age, really in, in, in educate the, the, the families and the youth of what we have to offer so they're not just ingrained on what they see on TV or what they see on social media. Get them to come there and really experience something hands-on. Uh, see what, what WVU, what the state has to offer in terms of, uh, you know, diversity, culture, and, and inclusion. And uh, I think this is a big, uh, that was a big reason why we said women's basketball, you said it's big families, a lot of young people, uh, really get them to, uh, to be on board with something that could, could help change their lives or open their eyes up to something that they might not have known that's, that's here in the state. We're Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Pima Chapter, the first intercollegiate fraternity founded for African American men, September 4th, 1906, on the campus of Cornell University in New York. Here on campus, we have the Pima Chapter of about five to seven brothers here on campus. And we actually have our clothing drive coming up, which will be collecting clothes on February 6th, 7th, and the 8th in Towers and downtown in the Lake. I want them to be able to go when they step into uh, the grocery store, when they step into Walmart, when they step into to a, a store in Morgantown or, or a restaurant and say, you know what, and, and see different people in different garbs or, or, or speaking a different language, that, they, this is, that this is a part of WVU. This isn't just someone that's coming in to, uh, say, invade our area. It's something that is a part of us. And I want them to understand that, you know what, yeah, they are, because they, they learn that at diversity. They, they know that we are a unique and diverse culture and population and be more accepting of what they see out in the public side.